I keep on moving forward Always getting closer Marching till it's over And just like a soldier I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm spitting this meticulous and limitless While others out there spitting shit Got hits up on the charts and sit I see why other artists quit Cause people don't reward your shit They love to hate but hate to live society You swing and miss and honestly I get it Alright, good morning, good morning It is Sunday, September 1st We are in the store And that was a rather extensive warm up that I just did uh, Get my body loosened up and a little sweat going uh, To get ready to do this workout today did the sandbags on Friday and those freaking were killer. My whole body felt really drained after that. I felt so good the next next morning when I woke up, my whole body was was sore, was tight. Felt like I'd done something for real. Um, so I love the sandbags. Sandbags are fantastic. Today, <laughs> we are doing a combination of all three of my favorite workouts. We're going to do five minute burpees. Um, probably gonna do, we'll start with uh, one minute each. And I'm going to do uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, whatever it works up to. So, I'm gonna do five minute burpees, take a little break, and then I'm gonna do ten minute sandbags. Same thing I did the other day: pick it up, hold it to my chest, walk back and forth, throw it on my shoulder, walk back and forth, put it down. Same thing. Working with that again, man. I'm telling you, the the lower back area when I was warming up here didn't hurt. It was just tight. A lot of those picking that sandbag up and holding it. A lot of use for the for the lower back area down here. So after I get done with the 10 minute sandbags, then I'm going to do X3 push, pull. Probably about three sets of that, three super sets of that. And that's gonna be it for the workout today. I already got a little sweat going in here. It was an excessive warm up. I, I did not want to get going. Really stiff getting going. Did some, uh, did some sit ups. I need to start adding those in. I'm gonna start adding those in. Uh, to my workout but i wanted to see what i could actually do here a minute ago and they suck so we're going to start adding those into my workouts right now we're going to get started we're going to do five minute burpees take a little break do sandbags take a little break finish off with chest x3 and then uh, we're done All right, start off with six and seven, eight, nine, ten on each round. Breathing down, heart rate down. Three, 
four, five, six, halfway there, seven, Just go for speed with these. Blood pumping on that. Whew. All right, we're gonna take a few minute break, walk around the store, get this cleaned up because we're gonna bring the sandbag in and we're gonna do some sandbags. All right, all right, all right, all right. About, that was about five minutes. Clean this up, take a couple trips around the, uh, the store here. Get my breath back in me, get the sweat flowing. <laughs> that workout I did on Friday, that I came in and I did the burpees, 50, 50 cent Navy SEALs, and then the uh, the uh, sandbags, I think I got 30, 30 of those within a time limit that I had set. And then I went home and I got my, my daughter's car and I took it to the shop. And then on the way from the shop, I walked, sprinted, so every minute, six second sprint, and then walk for a minute. And it was almost three miles back home. 
that was fantastic. I felt really good, strong on those sprints. I was getting strong, sorry, I was getting a little tired towards the end, um, but I felt really good doing those. Nice stretch, really trying to keep in line. I'm not a sprinter, so just trying to keep myself with my knees driving high as I sprinted for six seconds. All the totality of that workout on Saturday morning when I got up, man, oh, I was, I wanted to get up and go for a walk. This is normally my day off on Saturday. Uh, I just woke up and I was like, man, I'm just, my whole body was just tired again. So I just slept in and then uh, me and the wife came down here and worked the store. We start early on Saturdays. We open at 10 o'clock down here. So I have to get her up earlier on those days. On days like today, we get up or she gets up around 8, 30. All right, enough talking. Enough talking. I got 10 minutes set on the timer. We're going to do the same thing. To chest, walk back and forth, up to shoulder, walk back and forth, drop it down, same thing. Chest, walk back and forth, shoulder, walk back and forth. Just trying to get used to the feel of that, the overall body working to pick up the sandbag. It's only 90 pounds. I'd say it's 90 pounds. Not super heavy, but still awkward. to get my body in the proper position to pick that up because I did order a heavier sandbag. Although this one's lighter to pick up, the heavier one is definitely going to be heavier. Yesterday, when I was picking my wife's scooter up in and out of the van as we were going to dinner and stuff, that thing felt 15 pounds lighter than normal after picking this thing up. Not a lot of walking here, just getting my body used to 
picking the weight up and carrying it. At this point, we'll do longer walks out back when I get more accustomed to this. making your whole body work. I don't even know what I'm at, I'm not even counting. I'm just zoning in on the routine, picking it up, experiencing every moment of weight shift as my body compensates for that. Oh. 
I think I got enough time for one more on each side. That was it, that was 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes of picks. 10 minutes of picks, chest carry, and then shoulder carry on both sides. Whew. All right, now, the sandbag that I got, and I got this from, from Amazon. One of the cheaper ones, but it's very well built. It's very rugged, very thick, very good canvas. And they put these <laughs> stupid iron-on things on there, on the sides. I think just to try and make their sandbag look different than everybody else's. So I think everybody is buying these sandbags from China, of course. So they're pretty dang cheap. So my advice is if you're gonna buy a sandbag like this, try and go find the cheapest one, the Elite Sports. It's pretty cheap as far as sandbag goes. I'm not up to the super heavy, heavyweight sandbags where I would probably get a better design sandbag since it's more weight. That's only two 50 pound uh, sand, sandbags from a Home Depot in there. And those things are gonna end up coming off eventually. But other than that, I think it works fantastic. I do have a 120 pound coming, which I plan on buying three uh, 50 pound sandbags from Home Depot, and I'm gonna see how much of those three sandbags I can get into it. I know I'm obviously gonna get two. If I can get all three of them in there, then I'll have 150 or so pound sandbag. We'll see how that goes. That'll be coming up later this week. Right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna towel off and put my shirt back on because I am sweating like crazy. And I wanna do some chest presses and some bent rows with the X3 to finish this workout off. This is fantastic, I love this, this is great. I'll see you in a minute. All right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I didn't film that because dummy me put my shirt on backwards. <laughs> I turned it right side out. And then when I put it on, I put it on backwards and I was choking myself. I'm like, what the hell? So I got all the sweat all over my body now, all over my shirt because I had to take it on and off. All right, so I'm gonna finish off with three sets of superset chest press, bent row for the chest press. I got the 37 inch serious steel band, the gray black band, this band is freaking tough. And then I've got the X3 dark gray band for the bet rows. Whew, probably gonna do uh, two sets with the short bar and then the last set with the wide bar uh, for both of them.
trying to get not too much not too much chalk all over everything in here. Twenty one with that. That felt freaking fantastic. I could feel my shoulders as I was coming back, really taking that shoulders back and really holding that band instead of with my chest and then really powering out. It was like my whole upper body was working in one. That was fantastic. Oh my God, Whew. I can feel everything firing up on the first push and the first pull. Whew. All right, I got two minute, two minute break and we're gonna do it again. All right, we're back. That's, I don't know, about two minutes or so. I walked around the store a couple times. Get my heart rate down a little bit. I was really excited about this workout as I was thinking about it yesterday, put it, putting it into, uh, into my mind of what I wanted to do today because it's a Sunday. I wanted to try and do a little bit of everything that I've done all week. No plyo today. I had done that earlier with, or yesterday, or Friday with the running. I did have an, a plan to add the sit-ups in. Um, Two minutes of sit-ups, just like the Marine Corps and the PFT test, uh, and then five-minute burpees, and then 10-minute sandbags, and then finishing off with this. I didn't, I didn't video my, my sit-ups because they were horrible. Put my feet under the sandbag, and I did about, about 20, 25 sit-ups, and they were horrible. So I need to start adding those in before I start doing my burpees, two-minute sit-ups every morning or every other morning or whatever it is, I'm gonna start adding those in just to make myself get here and freaking do it just like I do with everything else. Show up, turn the video on, hold myself accountable for getting my uh, my physical fitness goals. My goals have shifted a little bit since I started doing this. I just wanted to be aesthetically pleasing now. I wanna be strong, I wanna be lean. I wanna be agile as I move into older age, That's hence the plyo. I wanna be strong enough to pick things up still as I get older, keep that muscle tissue for as long as possible while trimming down this excess old man fat. All right.
Make sure we put the mouthpiece in the right way. Ugh. I can really feel that in the back when I come back. My back is really tense holding that band. Lats flared, the whole back just jacked, and then I'm pushing out with oh, the chest, tricep, shoulders, everything. <sighs> Sweating like crazy. Just hooking my hands, pulling with those elbows. <sighs> One more set after another break. <sighs> All right. Last set coming up. I was doing a uh, burpee. One week and then an X3 the next week. And uh, I found that during the week that I was doing the X3, I was really super craving doing the burpees. I really wanted to do the burpees. I didn't want to do the X3, I wanted to do the burpees. Um, and then by the end of that week of doing just the X3, especially with the new protocol of the supersets, I was so tight. My muscles were so tight, my back was tight, my legs, everything was super tight. I didn't feel stretched and more limber like I do by doing the burpees. So I've decided to integrate the X3 with my uh, with my burpees, my sandbags, my plyo, integrated into a workout routine. So this week is kind of a hybrid of my burpees, my sandbags, and X3. So I'll integrate that with that. And then the next week, just burpees, sandbags, plyo, whatever else, no X3 at all. And the next week, go for uh, go for endurance, go for long burpee sessions, go for whatever else <coughs> I feel like I want to do. So this week is kind of a like what I did today, a five minute burpees, 10 minute sandbags, finish off with some X3. I'm going to do the two minute sit ups in there in the beginning to start that off with. So that'll be starting probably tomorrow. All right. This is always a fun one to get on, especially with this 37 inch band. This long bar is so long. And it, Get on there. Get on there. Yeah. All right, you're on there. All right. Ah. Oh, that's not good. I don't need to do that again. All 
Trying to go out with power, really control it back in, getting a good stretch, and then powering it back out. When I'm coming back in, it's really funny, it's the, the back muscles are really taking over. As I'm coming back in, the back muscles are really holding that off, really flaring the back. Kind of like, kind of like what you do when you get down the bench press. You're rolling up there, you're really flaring everything. You're flaring your back, and then you're uh, pushing that off, and then you're, you're, that's coming back down. You're using all of your upper body, not just your chest, your shoulders, your back, your lats, everything. Hold that bar off before you push it again. So it's similar to that, but it feels fantastic. And I haven't felt that before, besides for doing these sandbags and getting my body all awake, muscles all lubricated, blood flowing in there. Damn, might have to get some gloves. I don't like wearing gloves, but I'm sweating like crazy. All right, last one. Ah, last one, super wide, or as wide as I can go. I just ran out of pulling energy. Whew. Whew. OMG, that was fantastic. That was a fantastic workout. Kind of hit a little bit of everything that I, that I like doing. The, the speed burpees are five minutes. I'm trying to get where I could do 50 burpees in five minutes. So that was good. I could, the first three sets, I felt I could do more. But I just wanted to stay within those goals of getting those fast I could, recovering. And then on the last set, when I got 10, I still had like 20 seconds left. I'm like, man, I can still get more. So I think 50 is really close to getting and that five minute burpee. Those sandbags, fantastic. Do another set of those again tomorrow. I can't wait to get that 120 pound bag and feel how that works. But that one right now is plenty. After eight, nine, 10 picks, carries, and then shoulders, whew, you start putting everything down, you can start feeling everything coming alive. Of course, on the very first, pick it up, you feel everything come alive, but you start getting that, that pump. And then finish off with the chest and back superset. Whew, I'm gonna be pumped for the rest of the day, I'll tell you that. I'm gonna be freaking pumped for the rest of the day. Oh. So we're gonna do that again tomorrow, except tomorrow's his uh, biceps, triceps, and I'm gonna throw shoulders in with those. I'm trying to figure out what it is that I want to do tomorrow. I still want to do some type of burpee. Still do the sandbags, but get the two-minute sit-ups in in the beginning. 
So I'm still debating whether what kind of burpees I want to do tomorrow, but we'll figure that out. When Tonight, when I'm laying in bed and I put my plan together in my head of what I'm going to bed, I go to sleep thinking about my work, morning workout. So I'm motivated as I'm going to bed to get up and get my butt here and put into practice what I had planned on doing, what I had dreamed about, what I, dreamed about, what I had thought about before I went to bed of a workout that's gonna challenge me and keep me motivated and get me sweating and make me feel fantastic. But So that's it, that's it for today. We're done, September 1st. Uh, the uh, 510X3 <laughs> routine. Tomorrow will be the 2510X3 routine and we'll get that tomorrow. So get it done, go live your life. Thanks for showing up, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the thumbs up, if you put a thumbs up, thank you, appreciate it. We'll be back for more work tomorrow.